Suburban Water Heater. Near the rear curb side of your trailer, you'll find your water heater. When you ordered your Ollie, you might have chosen the standard two-way Suburban 6-gallon DSi water heater, or you may have upgraded to the Truma Aqua Go Comfort. If you have the standard Suburban 6-gallon water heater, you'll need to know where a few things are located for general operation and maintenance. First, open the door on the water heater and let it hang down. At the top, you'll notice a pressure relief valve. When the tank on the water heater has too much pressure, this valve is designed to open and release pressure. When this occurs, you might see water coming out the door of the water heater, but it is designed to do this, so don't be alarmed. You can also manually release the pressure on the tank to release excess air or reduce pressure in the tank before winterizing. Opening an interior faucet will also release pressure from the water heater. Releasing the pressure valve manually can release scalding hot water that could cause injury. Always allow the water heater to cool before manually releasing pressure. The Suburban water heater can use either propane or 120 volt power to heat the water system. To use propane to heat your water, you will need to first ensure you have propane in the propane tanks. The valve is open and you do not have the outside 120 volt switch turned on. Inside your trailer, you'll need to locate the water heater switch located on the upper switch panel just to the right of the kitchen galley and ensure it is turned on. This will open the flow of propane and light the burner using the 12 volt electricity from your batteries. Your batteries will need to be charged to a minimum of 10.5 volts to light the burner. If the burner fails to light, the system is designed to turn off the flow of propane after 15 seconds to prevent the propane gas from leaking. You'll need to go outside and press the reset switch if you are attempting to light the burner after it failed to light initially. To turn on or off the 120 volt electric, you will need to locate the outside switch in the lower left of the water heater compartment. If you are hooked up to 120 volt power at a campsite or when you're using a generator, you can use the electric mode to heat your water and save your propane for other uses. Prior to turning on the electric switch, always ensure that the tank on your water heater is completely full. To do so, you can either turn on the water in one of the faucets until you no longer see air coming out of it, or you can release the pressure valve until water starts to be released from it. Turning on the electric mode without water in the tank can quickly burn up the heating element. On the bottom you will notice the drain plug. The drain plug is designed with an anode rod that helps collect minerals and other debris that could corrode the inside of your tank. We recommend removing the drain plug and cleaning the anode at least once a year. As the anode becomes deteriorated, you will need to replace with a new anode available through our service department or a local RV service center near you. Before removing the drain plug, be sure to turn the water valves to the winterization configuration under the curbside rear seat access panel and turn the electric mode in the off position. To prevent potential scalding, always allow the water to cool down for approximately 30 minutes prior to draining the water heater tank. To remove the drain plug, you will need a 1 in 1 16th socket. Since the suburban water heater has a 6 gallon tank, it is a good idea to have a large bucket handy or drain where the water can drain away easily. Once you are ready to reinstall the drain plug, you will need to use Teflon tape to create a proper seal to prevent leaking. For instructions on how to winterize your trailer, see our winterization video.